Hey class, Absolute 5 here, and today we're going to talk about factoring trinomials of the form x squared plus bx plus c. So, we have an example of that form, x squared plus 4x plus 3. So, here's a hint. The rule is this. When you want to factor something out, right? But well, before I read that instructions down there, let's think of it this way. When you want to factor a number, well, a polynomial here, a trinomial here, you want to think of two numbers when you multiply them, you get c, which is the last number, which is 3. And then when you add those same two numbers, they give you positive 4, which is exactly what the rule says here, which is the rule is you multiply two numbers to get c, which is 3. And when you add two in the same numbers, you get b, which is, which is 4. So what's the two numbers you multiply to get 3? 1 times 3. And therefore, those two same numbers, you add that, you get you get the factor as well. So you rewrite this as x plus 1 times x plus 3, and I guarantee you that when you multiply it back, you'll get the same thing that we first started with, okay? So now scroll down. So the idea is, you see here, the product of these is c, the sum of these two is b, okay? So I already preemptively rewrote this one for this next one, so we're gonna think. What two numbers you multiply to get 12, that give you 12, and you add those two same numbers to give you seven. So if you, one way you can do this is write out all the multiples of 12. Well, same thing for two times six, and six times two is the same thing. And four times three. And you could try each case for yourself. So for example, let's try the first one, 12 times one, it does give me 12, but when I add those two, I get 13. So that's a no-no. So you could cross that off. 6 times 2 does give me 12, gives me 8 when I add them. But when I use 4 times 3, I get 12, and when I add them, I also get 7. So the factors would be x plus 4 and x plus 3 will be my factors for the first one. All right? Wow, next one as well. What are the two factors that give me 35? Well, well that was my phone. <laughs> 5 times 7, 5 times 7 would be 35, but when I add them, I would get negative 12. Hmm, that doesn't sound right. That means these two numbers have to be negative, because negative times negative would be positive. And then when you have two negative numbers, when you add them, you keep the same sign and you add the numbers, would give me 12. So my factors here would be negative 7 and negative 5, okay? Next example. Man, I wrote everything preemptively. So same idea. You want to use, well, it's, well, actually, this was actually a little bit tricky, actually, because you have a negative and a positive. Hmm. It's actually hard, actually. Well, let's write out the same factors for 4 and 3, 2 and 1. So 12 and 1. No, that won't work because even if it was negative, let's say it was negative 1, I would get I would get positive 11, which is too big. If I use 6 and 2, it could work, but one of these things have to be negative. Which one would be negative? Well, let's think about it. If it was 6 was negative, right, I'd get negative 4, so that's not right. So by default, I'd have to put negative 2 as the answer here. So my factors, so I don't need to check these two. So x times 6, positive, whoopsie, sorry guys. Positive 6 times x minus 2. That would give you the factors for that. Well, let's think. What's the only two factors? Well, no, actually I'm wrong. There's also 2 times 21 as a factor for 42. There's 7 times 6 for 42. I think that's about what I could think of right now. So 2 and 21 will give me 42, even if I change the signs. But let's say I change 2 to be negative, it'd be positive 19. So if I use 7 and 6, and let's say I made 7 negative, that would be the answer because 7, negative 7 times 6 would give me negative 42. And when I add these two, I'm left with negative 1. So therefore, r minus 7 times r plus 6 as my factors, okay? Oh, let me scroll up real quick. Okay, I thought I changed the letters and I didn't change that one. All right. Ooh, this is a messy one. Holy crap, this is a messy one. All right, let's think. We got to think of two numbers when we multiply them. gives us 6y squared. 
And then when we add those same two numbers, it'll give us, well, hmm. Well, let's do the numbers first. We'll worry about the uh, whole y squared so fiasco afterwards. All we can think of is two and three. That works out very well. But now we gotta be careful with our factors. We know x and x is gonna be the thing. And we know it's gonna be two and three, but we need y squared as another thing. So y squared would mean this is y. And yes, this works out when you check it, you'd get the same answer, because look, I'll prove it to you. Yeah, I'll definitely prove it to you. x times x would be x squared, x times 3y would be 3xy, plus 2xy plus 6y squared, I combine this, x squared plus 5xy plus 6y squared as your answer, so it checks out. All right, let's check the last example two numbers where you multiply them give you six and two numbers where you multiply and you add them give you five now mm, this is gonna be a big one actually let's think about this well it's gonna be two and three we already know it's two and three now here's the only kicker though it's different is it x times x when i say x times x it's gonna be what that's x to the fourth so this needs to be x squared plus two plus three. And I believe, yeah, that works out perfectly. So this one, wow, okay, that's hard to read. Uh, this is 40 minus 13t plus two, t, t squared. And that is your homework for tonight, guys. I hope you enjoy that homework. So be sure to leave your answers down in the comment section below. You don't have to solve for X, you just factor, okay? So that's the lesson for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Mash the bell button, guys, for more content. And I'll see you guys next time with another video. This has been Absolute 5. I'm Roger Palomino. Math is infinite because there are infinitely many possibilities. And don't forget, don't hate, calculate.